This is a good example of an expected value problem, and it's precisely what you might do yourself in a business adventure when you're deciding what direction to go with your business. Here's an example. The coffee franchise is opening a new store, and they estimate that there's a 70% chance for a profit and a 20% chance for a loss. And the profit and loss are both given as $100,000 profit possibility and $3,000 loss probability. So we're going to see, uh, oh, and then also there's a 10% chance that there's a break-even. And I've written that break-even in here as a zero gain. Notice how I've set up the problem. We've got 70% uh, times the profit, so a positive 100,000. 10% times zero, which really we could just ignore that because that break-even isn't going to... Uh, do anything to the expected value. It doesn't add or take away from the expected value. And then we have a 20% chance for a loss, so 0.2 times a negative 3,000. When you multiply these out, you would do 0.7. On my calculator, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 0.7 times 100,000 plus 0.2 times negative 3,000. Thousand or, or you could change this to subtract. If you notice that uh, that minus three thousand, the loss of three thousand means it's going to be subtracted. But either of those ways, on a scientific calculator, the order of operation should take over for you, and the calculator should multiply each of the two pieces. So this piece and this piece before it adds or subtracts. Try that, and I think that you should get the result that my lab math is expecting.